Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Homemaking with Katrina. So, guess what time it is? It's Thanksgiving time. What do you do at Thanksgiving? You cook all this delicious food, and you celebrate with your loved ones, giving thanks unto God for making it, what, to the 11th month of the year. That's what I say. Okay, so I was not going to do a pre-Thanksgiving meal this year year because I've been so so busy and I've got a teething five month old and she wants to be on me 24 7 but um, it was requested and I definitely love requests because that lets me know that there are things and recipes that you are searching and looking for and you would like for me to make those things and you try them out so thank you guys so much for that so it is a week today well tomorrow makes official week before Thanksgiving and actually I am I always do like a pre little Thanksgiving meal for my family but we go um, to Georgia which I'm from Georgia my husband is from North Carolina so we have been going ever since we got married 15 years ago to Georgia for Thanksgiving my mom makes a spread and yes and it is just love and good food and laughter I'm pretty sure that you've seen um, I do have on other videos of um, my mom's homemade dressing, which I know that I will put that recipe in the description box. Um, I am making it, but I'm not. I'm actually baking it. My mom made me some up um, a couple of months ago, and she froze it for me. And so I said, what perfect time would it be for me to just put it in my oven and pair it with my sides? So I'm not doing a turkey. I'm not roasting a turkey. Um, because, like I said, it's just too extreme and we'll be having all that kind of stuff next week. But I am going to give you some good vegetable recipes for you to try and put on your table. Sweet potato casserole. Always make that. Green bean casserole. Everybody loves that. That's like a staple, I guess, to me. Um, um, I'm making some fresh turnip greens, but I'm going to show you the turnip greens. These are the greens from our garden. Um, and we still have so many more. So I'm going to cook up them and then freeze most of them we probably won't even eat the greens today i will just use them at a later time but i want to show you a recipe that you may try them if you're making turnips or mustards or collards um these are turnip greens i'm not making collard greens but um because we didn't plant collard greens so i'm just making what bountiful blessings we have which is turnip greens and my mom makes both she makes turnips and collards for um thanksgiving and i have cornbread dressing that is all I have to do she told me last night is just add a can of cream of chicken to it to make it just kind of creamy again because it was frozen and baking in the oven just like nothing so I'm not having to do anything to that um I have my sweet potatoes already in the oven roasting they've been in there probably about 15 minutes um I'm doing some Cornish hens which mind you my parents do deep fry turkey and deep fry Cornish hens but because Cornish hens were on sale, they were like $3.99 at um, my grocery store, I was going to do chickens, like roast two chickens, but I said no. These are so cute because I'm going to make honey ham, and my husband doesn't eat pork, so I didn't want to make, me and the kids eat pork and make a whole bunch of meats, and it just pretty much goes to waste because I don't like to waste food. So, and we typically never have leftovers, but we will have leftovers and we'll be able to eat this for lunch. Or I'll put what's left over up um, along with the turnips in the freezer and pull them out. Hey, maybe on those, one of those busy days that we need some vegetables or the first part of the year. Who knows? But yes, yeah, so honey baked ham, Cornish hens, um, southern cornbread dressing, turnip greens, fresh turnip greens from the garden. No can, no can turnips with the roots and now the roots are pitiful because they weren't supposed to pick the roots their daddy is gonna have a fit because he's gonna be like no and I should have specified when I sent them out there to pick them we're finishing up school spider-man's right here hey spider-man <laughs> hey Cashy <laughs> yeah it, it's been an eventful day got one that's got possibly a broken bone in his foot so we had to go to the emergency ortho situation this morning and now we are finishing up schoolwork. so but we did one good thing the kitchen is clean no lunches were made we did grab mcdonald's so 
that was not in my plans to eat out today, but I said, hey, treat myself with not having to cook twice. <laughs> okay, because we left out pretty early for the appointment, so we didn't do breakfast. But um, oven just created. I just went on to put the sweet potatoes in there. But yes, yeah, so cornbread dressing, turnip greens, Cornish hens, honey ham. Um, I was going to do mac and cheese, but I just said, mm, no, no mac and cheese. Um, and green bean casserole. Yeah. So it's going to be an amazing pre-Thanksgiving meal. But I'll also share my Thanksgiving vlog in Georgia, how we do down south. Because my mom's got to spread 16, 16 items that she is making and i think she said she's making like nine desserts so yeah and it's gonna be she's feeding a crowd it's not just my family she's feeding my 11 plus my siblings and aunts and cousins yeah it's gonna be great so yeah and a couple of friends i think so yeah so let's get started okay these are the greens right here and the roots i have some roots that i purchased though um, because I, my husband has said that the roots were not ready yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get these washed up and cleaned and we're going to start cooking. Yes, and we're going to do this meal. Besides, minus the Cornish hens, we are trying to get this meal done in two hours or less. Yes, and it can be done. No desserts being done, but we're going to get this stuff done. Even if you try, you wouldn't.
So let's go ahead and get to roasting our hands. I have four um, tiny, tiny, so cute hands that I've already washed. They may look bigger than what they are, but look, just proof that they're small. It's the same size as my hand. <laughs> okay, I have four of them that will um, feed my family. Um, and I'm also gonna cook some ham and I'll show you the ham that I make. This is a shortcut ham. Of course, you can use these exact same recipes that I use for turkey or Cornish hens or chickens, whatever you wanna feed for your family. Um, I've already cleaned them and I have them on a sprayed um, cookie sheet because we're gonna roast them just like how we do with the turkey. There's enough, um, there's gonna be enough juice to where after um, about 45 minutes, you'll baste it. You're gonna cook these on 350 degrees. Um, you can take it down to 325 if you want to, if you just got time. I'm starting a little bit late. Um, so yeah, I wanted to have these on by three, but it took me 30 minutes to do those turnip greens and the roots. <sighs> That's the only thing about buying stuff and growing stuff. Growing stuff is wonderful, but all the bugs that come with it. <laughs> So I had to clean all that, cut them up, soak them in vinegar, and they're on their second soak right now. And yes, so we'll get to that next, but we need to go ahead and get our meat on because this will take the longest. Um, so right here are my spices. Right here I have, um, I like to do it. Isn't that pretty? It just looks like fall. Um, I have, starting on my right, I have poultry seasoning, black pepper, chicken bouillon seasoning, brown sugar, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder in the middle, um, and an all-purpose seasoning. It's that steak and chop season. You can use it for anything, but it's not salty. It's just really flavorful. It's got, um, you know, some different spices in it, just mainly pretty much the same thing, but I like the colors as well, um, Some and some parsley. You can use whatever type. I typically use Herbe Provence on my turkey, but I looked everywhere and I could not find it. So I'm gonna have to definitely get some because when I do make turkey, which I'll make a turkey breast for Christmas, I'm gonna have to get me some. So you could just find that anywhere. But these are my spices and um, I'm gonna put it on all of them. Now I'm gonna use for oil purposes, I have one stick of unsalted melted butter um, and I have some olive oil. And then for citrusy, I'm using, I didn't zest an orange, but um, I'm using a whole um, squeezed orange and a tablespoon of lemon juice. So we want that citrusy flavor, but it won't taste like an orange or have orange flavor. It'll just give it citrus flavor. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and season these babies up and then get them in the oven. And they'll cook um, for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, all I can say is I'll, I'll let you know exactly the time that these take. Um, I've never made them before, but they look like little baby chickens. And so whatever, the little female, little baby hens. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get them on and then we'll start on our other sides. So what you see in this bowl, we are moving on to my mom's famous Southern cornbread dressing. Like I said, I will have the recipe in the description box so you can get it for yourself. If you wanna see it, I have like my second um, cooking video that I ever done um, and my mom is doing that if you wanna see it. But I will have her recipe in the description box. What she told me to do, this was frozen, and what she told me to do um, is add one can of cream of chicken to it and bake it off. Now, dressing usually takes about 45 to 55 minutes, almost an hour, um, so I want to go ahead and bake this off early so it's no rush at all to where it can cook all the way. But it, the consistency is supposed to be sloopy, um, that's what she did tell me. She stressed you do not want a tight cornbread dressing because that is not the way it's supposed to be. So even though it looks like it's soupy, but 
this dressing will come out to a cake consistency to where it'll be moist because cakes are um, of course are thin and runny and they seem like it'll be a hot mess but until it's baked it will come out so delicious so she um, made this for me some months ago this was my last meal that I had before I had the day before I had um, miracle I requested like turkey wings collard greens dressing mac and cheese Oh, it was so good. So she made a humongous pan and she saved me some and I just froze it and I knew um, there were so many times I wanted to pull it out, but I said, no, I'm going to wait until Thanksgiving time when I do my Thanksgiving, pre-Thanksgiving meal. So yeah, so I've already sprayed um, a 13 by 9 pan and I'm just going to bake it off. And this is going in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes to an hour. And I'll have the exact time also um, written down. Okay guys, so now on to the green bean casserole. So I have three um, drained cans of green beans. And this is just a simple basic recipe that I use. Um, one can of cream of mushroom soup. And you double this recipe if you're making more. I'm making a small batch because I'm not, I'm just feeding my family and we don't have to have a whole lot, a whole, whole lot. One can of cream of mushroom soup. Um, a little bit of that all purpose seasoning that I made up with the chicken bouillon, all those spices. Just put just a little bit of that in there. You don't want it to be too much. Um, I'm going to melt um, a stick of butter and bake it off with some crunchy French onions. keeping your onions brown and they not burn is baking it covered um, I'm gonna bake it covered and then I will take it off about five minutes before and let the onions crisp up but it is not going to um, make them soft okay guys so now it is time for the sweet potato souffle um, my kids, I was going to do a crumb topping, that's what I usually do for my souffle, but they are requesting marshmallows, so I said it's fine. Um, so, but this is my personal recipe, I've used the same recipe for years. I also did a video last year, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe two years ago when I first started um, doing YouTube of my sweet potato casserole um, recipe or souffle, however they say it. I think it's a souffle if it's... I don't know anyway but um I have four medium-sized sweet potatoes that I roasted in the oven and they are nice I'm just gonna take the skin off of them you can use canned sweet potatoes I did that and they just turn out just fine but um, this way is so much better but hey whatever works it will be good either way so my ingredients that I always use for my sweet potato casserole or souffle um, sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, ground cinnamon, a dash of nutmeg, <laughs> a dash of ginger, you'll need a little cornstarch, and just a dash of lemon juice. You can do fresh lemon juice, of course some vanilla, and a stick of melted butter, unsalted. And that's it, and all I do is just throw everything in there. You don't need any more sugar because the sweetened condensed milk is sweet enough, but it gives it a very rich, creamy taste. So 
I will not add any more sweet to it. And if you're making a souffle, of course, or if you call it souffle, or if you call it what, casserole like I do, you're gonna either put a crumb topping on top, which will be full of sugar and flour and butter. Um, so that's added sugar, or you'll do sweet marshmallows. So you don't need any more sweet, because otherwise it'll be too sweet. And nobody needs all of that. So I'm gonna get everything um, thrown in my mixer and get this mixed up. We are coming to the end. I got two more recipes to show you guys before I finish up this pre-Thanksgiving large family meal. I've gotta do the shortcut ham that I'm gonna show you guys and get our turnip greens put in the Instapot. Yes, so it's going well. It is going well. I'm excited. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one so all the memories of venom and the remedies, yeah. So this is my secret little recipe that I use. Um, this is just a ham that is fully cooked already, that's been cut off the bone, and people use it for multiple things. Um, and it's you see how cheap it is, it's about two um, and a half pounds almost, and it is super cheap, 13 bucks, and it can feed a crowd. So all I'm going to do, because like I said, it's fully cooked, you don't have to cook it long. I um, am going to put it in a casserole dish and this is what I use for my ingredients. I use one can of he in heavy syrup pineapple chunks and then in here I've already melted one stick of unsalted butter, a cup of brown sugar, a third of a cup of, um, not a third of a cup, a fourth of a cup of cornstarch, cinnamon, vanilla, <laughs> yes, cinnamon and vanilla, yes, and brown sugar, so yes, so we're going to get this in here and roast it off, we're going to, you don't have to bake it covered because like I said, it's fully cooked, and then the reason we added the cornstarch is because you want, you want your um, sauce to stick on your ham. And so this is the best way to do it. You can do cornstarch later if you want to, but I would just recommend doing this because you can do it once and then pull it out after 20 minutes and go ahead and serve it. So yeah. So I do this um, type of ham for my little Thanksgiving meal and then I also do it for my Easter meal when I do an Easter meal with my lamb chops. So yeah. So I'm gonna throw it in here and then I'll show you guys how it looks once it's done. So this is how it looks. I'll have this um, in the description box as well, but you'll need about a fourth of a cup of water, fourth a cup to a half a cup um, of water. Just um, put it inside. That's what I forgot to tell you, sorry. So yeah, so just add that last, pour it on top, and we're gonna place this in the oven. This is a before for about 20, 25 minutes. Because it's fully cooked, we just want it to um, warm up completely to temperature that it needs to be to eat and um, for, of course, our um, cinnamon brown sugar and pineapple mixture to flavor our ham. We are in the stretch for this Thanksgiving, pre-Thanksgiving meal for our large family. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I cannot wait to eat. My girls keep coming down like, oh, it smells so good. Yes, so I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and gonna finish this video see you guys next video bye hey guys so now on to the last recipe little mirror is just like mm -mm, okay so I've washed and cleaned the turnip greens I'm putting it 
in the Instapot. I cook it on steam for 16 minutes. You do not want to overcook your vegetables um, and you don't want to undercook them. And I've made these so many times and they come out perfect. So for my spices, I've got some beef bouillon. This is what I use. No joke. This is, I use beef bouillon seasoning. If you don't have beef bouillon, you can use chicken, but um, I don't use any flavors of meat, any turkey or pork or anything in my in my um, greens. So if you do that, of course, I would cut back on some of the um, salt because you don't want them to be salty. So if you use like, if you use smoked turkey, I think you'll be good. Um, but if you use any pork products, make sure that you cut back on the you know season to taste but if you want to just try this recipe the way I make it um, this is beef bouillon it's about um, two tablespoons of beef bouillon um, I've got onion powder garlic powder paprika I've got about um, a tablespoon of white sugar granulated sugar you can use brown if you want to um, it will not be sweet what it does is it just causes the flavor to it just enhances the flavor of of all the flavors if that make any sense um the thing about turnip greens they can be be very um i don't know what that if they're undercooked and they don't have enough seasoning you will taste a very strong bitter taste and so um i would recommend you adding of course a little bit of sugar and they won't be sweet and then we're using some crushed red pepper and about five cups of water just till it comes up you don't want to cover it in water and then um about three to four tablespoons of vegetable oil. and we're going to throw it in here and i'll show you how everything looks so this is how everything looks i've already put the water um i've added six cups of water because i've got a lot but you see it's not filled all the way to the top but it's surrounding our greens and then i just throw the spices on top once the greens are finished i'm going to mix these up right now the best i can but you can give it a good stir um, once everything is fully cooked and if you need once you once they're fully cooked and you um of course vent them and you open them up you can mix them up good and you just add what you may need if you need a little extra um, flavor to it you just add whatever you need to it so 16 minutes and we'll have turnip greens Hey guys, so that is our Thanksgiving, pre-Thanksgiving large family meal. We are about to bless this food and give thanks unto God. Last year we didn't even have her, so I love the noise. You guys have a wonderful, safe Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys next video.